Blog Talk Radio. Here at ACO Radio, American Communications Online, or any affiliated stations or websites are not responsible for what guests, hosts, or call-ins may say. All programming is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. Ascension Church Ohana, spiritual science supporting faith and hope. Well, we have relations on the planet. I'm going to quote Baba G, which was an avatar, and uh, read this to you for those of you that want to share reality with me in 2021. So, welcome everybody that's helped me in the last millennium and the last few universes (laughs) while we uh, individualize ourselves as separate from each other, showing our sovereignty as individuals on this place, in this space. So a lot of people are not familiar with Babaji. An avatar. So I'm going to share some knowledge that was accepted by only those that were of the higher vibration and to be subservient to others that made the cross to the higher. Baba G. Baba G is now learned. And he is studied about. He is now known as one of the greatest masters on earth today. To some humans, is in the category of Jesus Christ, Buddha. Some have a chosen task on earth. Each soul has a task. To many, it's explained the reaction to causal phenomena. This is a way of life for many who believe they are paying karma indebtedness. The way of life for many is not to be challenged. For some, they worship God, not of this earth. For others, they have material gods of earth 
Many do not believe in any one thing or any one spirit or body. Many people on earth today do not have any spiritual beliefs. The need to know what is right come. Let the knowledge of one encompass all. This is the will of Babaji, for he has appeared once again. The need for spiritual upliftment is of the most importance. The earth will now learn of the enlightenment of the world one step at a time. There are many people on earth with many different thoughts. The rules and the rulers of countries know not the power and beliefs as of yet. They will. For as they bear the knowing of the bear and the lion became extinct, they will know all the lamb will know. The wolf in sheep's clothing will rule no more. This is a time for those who have known of the spiritual realms for sharing of their knowledge. Many spirits are called forth, and few are chosen. This is a time for words to be expressed and confound the wise on earth today. This is a time when those who have lived before, such as Yogananda, Buddha, Baha'u'llah, Krishna, Jesus the Christ, to be understood. This will be of the spirit and should and will lay out the last physical mind, body, as we are spirits all about ascension. There are many on earth who follow one train of thought or another until all information from that one source is drained. This is a slow process. The followers of the teachers from other planets in this universe have now experienced the ones who wish to shine forth in the spiritual light. The need to know God is strong. They teach on earth that there are many denominations of belief, connections to other worlds, other denominations on other planets. And this word has always been the same. Babaji is one with the universe. His level of vibration expresses itself to many. Those who wish to hear, let them hear. Those who wish to see, let them see. For Babaji knows the power of the living God. Babaji serves the one who gave him spiritual life. Many lives have been known by Babaji. Many worlds has Babaji known. Many worlds and planets and universes have been expressed in this time and in his time. The need to grow and come forth out of darkness will be experienced by all. Now will the spiritual leaders of olden days come forth. Now will God bring forth his servants from afar and show Mankind the way. The word was always on earth. God was in the beginning. Man was created from the word of God. The chosen of God came down to take the wives of men. The ways of God were good. Men would not understand what man was given as the right of free agency. This was the governing factor of man's soul. To know right from wrong, the light from the dark. This was all seen, felt, known, and practiced. This was a disheartening place, this world, this word of God. He claimed that all would be destroyed except for the love of one human and his. There was the great flood upon the earth, as is written in many stories of old. This was in a time when all was recorded for man to keep record of, 
of the scorn which could befall men. This was the time for learning the belief of the power of God. This would be the beginning of the replenishment of man and his righteousness soul. Man was nothing before without love. Now the love of God would prevail. The story of man in his book, his history, for all man to learn of, study, and then practice, must come to terms with soul. Man must come to term with his own soul. The will of God is strong, but not so strong as to take away the free agency of mankind. Know that will love comes the right to think, feel, experience, and know. Most of all, to incorporate the knowledge, know that love comes from the way that we think into that of love. Know that love comes most of what we know, feel, experience. Know that love comes love for the one God, the great I am, now the great we are, is for learning tearing of the veil, the all-deciding factor of that who follows the light and who follows the darkness. The evil one was sent here to try the souls of men. The duality, the other darkness, the ignorance, separation from God, the force, the source. The dark force will consume spirit. The dark force will take the free agency and teach the evil that will prevail in spirit. Woe be it to any spirit who comes to earth and does not find the truth. For the living will be among the dead in a time to come, but those who will be cast off the face of the planet will be those who chose to deafen their ears to the knowledge. There will be a coming, and the light will prevail over the darkness. This is what is and always will be. Man and all his infinite wisdom cannot change this. This is not for man to change but to accept. This is the beginning of the seed of truth. The rays of light begin when man first knows that he has no power of his own this is not for man to change, but to accept. Man in all his infinite wisdom cannot change. This is the beginning of the seed of truth. The rays of the light begin when man first knows that he has no power of his own creation. For man is not the creator. Man is from God, spirit of God within, and the mind is of God. The knowledge that is put forth into the mind of man's own choosing is of God, and the truth is God. Seek out the truth for all time and eternity. Man has worshipped idols. And man like statues. This is wrong. God said, let there be light, and there was light. First, the chosen price of light and darkness was upon the firmament of heaven and earth. The chosen ones were then created. The sons of God were of chosen spirits. This was as it was in the beginning, and it was amazed. All was amazed. The sons of God were chosen. It was the will of the Heavenly Father, for there was only one, for 
mankind, his workers, were of his own choosing. They were from the other worlds before, in his own mind, in his own mansion. Michael was yet to rule. Many of the other worlds which man had seen and come forth as in the written word was the history of man in the book. The Akashic records will be opened and the seals lifted for all to see the iniquity of what was, what is, and what has always been before. Be therefore perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. This is the law. If you love me, keep my commandments. The law was brought before. Ezekiel experienced the knowledge of good and bad. He saw the river at Sherber. That was for man to know. Babaji saw what he saw. This is now related for all those who follow the ways of the chosen masters, avatar masters of the Ascension Church, Ohana. Bring your spirits, come follow the light, for it is good. The ways of man are corrupt as is the earth. Take no heed of what you will wear, for it's provided. Take up your spirits unto the God of man and experience the love of the light, the love of the chosen, one will be learned. All must choose their own path. Path will be it's the dark art in the light. Many will suffer greatly for they know not the light. This will be as they so choose. For no man knows the time of their arrival and man will be separated. The lambs from the goats, and would be asked to explain what they did, why they did not feed the Lord where they were, and why they were when there was hunger. That will be the end. This will be the beginning, and this is as it was and as it is, and it always will be. Go now and see the ways of the world and come back to me, Babaji. See what I am, one with the Father. For this is a chosen time on earth, and my work is almost finished here. Take up your bodies and spirits. For this is a chosen time on earth. Feel me. Take up your bodies and spirits, yet separate the two. I will be as the one who shines forth the light for the elder beneath is Jesus the Christ. Christ consciousness is the way it was the way it is and always will be as the ascension, as one becomes the part of the all I am. Do not sit in judgment of others, for theirs is of their own free will. Rather, show the way into the light and see the example. Ye, as I have shown the way as Babaji. This is the way of the Lord, not me, says he. I will be like the field of grass blowing in the wind of the mountain. Here I am, and here I am always. This time of snow has now turned to a time of rain. The rain will descend upon the earth and cover the mountains. The grass will grow and the wind will blow. The light will ascend out of heaven and call forth the just. To believe in the prince of light and not of me. The path up the mountain where you will find the brass blowing in the wind. Do not be afraid for I am here. I am here. I am, and this is your path. 
I will be with Baba G, and I will be at the end of the path in the light, coming to the light, and there will I be. God is a kind and loving God. This place of phenomenon, mystery, the unexplained, that of the all-knowing that cannot be understood with the human mind and body, the spirit exists in this place as well as also this place which I speak of will be in a life everlasting. You have wanted the word from me, so now you have it to bear. Will you now believe in the word? Do you not put your belief in the darkness? The world is not the same as it was, nor will it be. For the word is only as one that hears. For the word is only one. The word is not the same as it was and will be. Do not put your belief in the darkness, for I will not be there. This is the way for those who've chosen the other side. This is not my way. The way of the Ascension Masters has always been in the light, the ashrams of the mountains, the mountaintops tell you this. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. This is the way of all the Ascension Masters. Babaji was the way and the word while on earth, and Babaji is the way and the word and the light. Take your thoughts now up to the mountains. Take your way into the mountains and see the way. All avails nothing without love. Meditate, pray always. These thoughts run deep, but they may flow through. Further, masters will ebb and flow with these thoughts through your soul as the tide upon the waters. Need man only his time. Take this message and put it out of your minds and into those that will believe. For the ways of man are now guarded by evil ones in the ways of the body in the past, not more for darkness, but cannot see ones that cannot see their way. Trust in the new ways, for there is the time that passes, so will I. The masters using the western regions for the growth of the spirit for all, for I have just come as time passes. So will I. Use the Western growth. Use the regions for spirit. For I have been there, and it was not the same. There will be my knowledge of the Western regions, but there will be my experiences. There will be my help for the ways of mankind, but this must come into the light. So says the will of Babaji. Task of the servants is as man has requested. Know thy spirit, for the body matters not. See me now in the spirit, as my body will be of another. Go in peace, pray, meditate, fast of the knowledge that I have brought. This is a time and season for everything. For this reason, it's time to correspond with Thelma, now known as Ruth. This correspondence is made and needed and repeated itself in history. The need to know is great, and also, once again, Thelma is able to reach many with her writings, her blessings. Her past has been of service, and her guides have been kind and generous. There's much information stored in many areas of access. 
The Akashic fields, the Akashic records were eternal knowledge. The responsibility which must be accepted was the right to obtain the knowledge of the records, and that is great. Only a chosen few have been able to obtain the knowledge. Therefore, few have been the lineage of Abraham, lineage of Noah, lineage of Hermes, lineage of Theopolis, and the lineage of all that are, all that will be, or that will be, that should suffice. The lineage is one of great importance on earth for all spirits who come to be known and through the need to know why they were, why they were here, why they came, what and where they came from, and what they will do when they leave this earth. There have been many questions raised about the Lemurians, also the Mu, Muans, ushered into those with a world of knowledge and the need to know was great and the kindled fire of eternal truth and the flame that was burning eternally. The keeper of the flame, one female servant, who was and and will always be the keeper of the flame, the chosen path of the keeper of the flame was one of trial and tribulation. Much has been said of the keeper of the flame throughout the universe. This is not the keeper of the spirit that one clear prophet foretold. This is the time for the keeper of the Kashic records to foretell the past of the golden age. This is done by way of automatic writing and on earth through chosen servants whose name is of no importance as channels. But just as many records have been foretold on earth and came forth, for the many, so will records of old come forth and new ones written. In years past, the women of the earth have been the spiritual ones, the guardians and protectors of those who man was to be. The help of many universes were offered. The understanding of many universes was accepted by the chosen few. Now, as the new age is ushered in, there will be chosen once again the few. Many are called and few are chosen as writers and scribes that are basic who have allowed their earthly bodies to serve as vessels for the receiving of all earthly knowledge. Then there are those who have their facilities given to accommodate the masters this describes an inspiration to others. There will be few of the importance of the future that those who once will offer their vestibules to those of whom the world now offers, we call guides. Let it suffice your hunger now to know that this is the way of all records that have been kept in the Akashic fields, the records, the libraries, the halls, the free agencies of man, the most cherished, those who requested and attributed to mankind that God, this is God given for it was in the beginning. God is absolute in the beginning. It's regarded that Beings who offer up their services were in the beginning only that which was once the word that once lived before. Then therefore, how can there ever be eternal ones who have tested and failed not? These are the ones whose faith could not be shaken. They are the ones in the beginning who had guided from their father of the most holy of holies. Just the word is, and the word always will be. And the beginning was the word, and the word was out without form, the same as it was and it will be. For God has always been. For the tired who cannot find a quench for their hunger and thirst, the heart of the soul dictate to you what you should desire. The soul will tell all things through faith of one's honor. 
pray always for the truth to be manifested to you and your spirit and to rejoice in what revelation the soul receives. The time has now come for the ones of the higher order to give forth knowledge. The spirits of the chosen task of recording of all universes are now taken in the scroll and the hand once again as time dictates the past, present, and future. For now the time is ripe for the fruit to fall from the trees and the harvest of the plenty for the chosen one to begin. Knowledge and forgiveness. Forgiveness of ignorance. Let the ones who once were and all will will always foretell the stories of old come forth. The past days of their forefathers is now once again restored to the earth. Let the scribes be known to many, but few. The words will be written once again for those who can understand. Let them understand. For those who can hear, let them hear. For those who can read, let them read. For those who can feel, let them feel. The tenses of others will be known. The senses, once again, will be awakened to the tunes of old. Hearken your spirits to the word and the music of the Most High. The brothers and sisters of other worlds have you known before. The world from which you came awaits you. The knowledge of the universes has always been and will always be recorded throughout time. Hearken the words of the keeper of the flame. The knowledge of many worlds and time has been recorded. Now on earth, once again, the truth will be Ushered in, take heed not to cast pearls before swine. The knowledge of all is sacred to the few. The knowledge comes forth for only the humble to understand. The heartfelt faithful will seek out the truth and will find it. The knowledge of the universes is once again available to all those who truly seek the words of their father, which came before the all-knowing source for the time is now. Time is what we call in the golden age, that which will be before and will be recorded in words most popular to humankind, to mankind, all men, all human, woman, if truly earnest, will one day read the truth. To know the truth, the knowledge will be set forth for all to share. The humble and meek will inherit the earth. The humble and meek will inherit the word. Take the words which we give forth and guard them with your honor and respect. Let the reaper not be discouraged. The time has come. Let the Thermans, the Thelmas, the Theras come forth. They give in the days of past of Theopolis and record what must be known on earth once again today and unite the people as one in truth of the Most High. The words will be presented as they will be given to mankind to know. All humankind, all types, all genders, all identities, as the scribes are servants of the Most High. All words. So the servants of the word and the word is servant of mankind. Let the work commence now in the time of the golden age of the spirits. The spirits of the Most High and those of the Most Choice Spirits now entering the world. The Golden Age of Ascension 
the age, once again, of free agents, sovereign to prayers of the universe, have encompassed the world, and the vibrations have traveled forth and have been heard. The world of Om now part, becomes a part. Receive the scribes and love. Be of love and good cheer, for their work will be continuous. Woe be it unto the body and the soul, for the labor will be long. Path of which the scribes have traveled before and agreed to be in this time and dispensation. Wonder not why your soul is not a partaker in the deed and work. It will suffice the your spirit to know that your chosen talents will come forth, your gifts, and you will reap the rewards of your chosen quest. As for now, let it be pleasing to the spirit to know that the guardian angels are at work preparing the way. Those who came before various realms and the angelic realms of the worlds and other planets and of your world you have not known preparing the way. The worlds and other planets of your worlds you have not known. Now will it suffice to comfort those of the soul. The comforter is to escort in these words for the ones who have once again chosen to believe, have faith, Hope, what always was and what always will be. Watch always, and you will see the beginning of a new beginning on earth today. The beings who now exist will obtain the words and will change their existence to one of harmony with the overall. The change is in process. The will is strong and the body is weak. The soul now hungers and the spirit shines forth. Your servants now work in the time of human, human, woman, humankind, and the very dark as well as the day for the good of humankind. The light will now shine forth as it once was in the time of Mu Lemuria on planet Earth. Man was servant and gods ruled the earth. The spirits of many were sharing of the illumination of light, which shined forth from the higher planes. Receive these words now as your minds are prepared to do. Prepared to do so. Be not afraid of the words which come forth after these, for they are words in the light. They are prepared by an earthly body, but are not of an earthly body. They are prepared of spirit, but not of an earthly spirit. They come forth out of the very soul, the very bowels of humankind, but are not of the humankind, mankind, of which you know it. Prepare now, for the time is at hand, to receive the knowledge of your forefathers, so that you may learn the evils of the world. Learn the words of the light, so that you might know the goodness that can shine forth in humankind. These words will be the beginning of a channel which we open in the name of the higher council, who is, which has ruled for all time and eternity for the good of your humankind. The Akashic records will be open to those who wish to read and learn. These words will be transformed and guarded by the chosen scribes and we have told of the scribes who work long and hard for the accomplishment of the souls. Let your spirit and mind know that these whom we have chosen will receive only what humankind is allowed to know in the time that he or she is to receive it. Ask not what can be done for you, but what can be understood by you or what can be digested by you. 
for the waste of knowledge is the waste of light. The light shines forth for all who will receive it. The light will be felt and understood by the spirit and will change the mind and the body. The Christ consciousness, the ascension age, humankind now exists in mind, body, and spirit. The greatest being that of the spirit. Guard your scribes, for as the light shines forth and is recorded, out of the Akashic records, many of the earth will lash out. Many will be of the dark side. The other worlds of which the overlords of evil now have power over. The worlds have been in his grasp for more time than man has known. This will be the task you will be assigned and you receive with these words in this world to serve the cherubims and raise your spirits to shield the truth. For with all knowledge of our world comes the price in your world. This world of knowledge and information of what you know now lives and what was not always evil, the light did shine forth and will again. The comfort of the words of which we send you will be protected from change and destruction by one way. The one way is of humankind. What you reap, so shall you sow. This has always been the way. The free agency of mankind cannot be overruled. We are not vengeful. The evil comes not from our beings. The evil is of the earth, guided by another. Take these words of which we give you and protect them as you would any other of your worldly goods. Protect them as the mother protects your child. These words have come before and been brought forth before. Knowledge only to be destroyed by the great destroyer of planets and humankind. As we give, so we take away. As we shine forth, so can we darken. As we shine forth, so can another darken. This is the opposing side to the light for center. For without darkness, how would mankind recognize the light? The decision is for that of your spirit. We are to serve our purpose as we are once again instructed to do with the most high of counsels. We have chosen the task for the betterment of all humankind. We use our free agency as we now bequeath of you. We will bring forth the knowledge as we are instructed to do. We will hurry the task for the need is great. We will guide you to the records so that you glance upon knowledge. Look upon the heavens and you will see us there. <laughs> 